Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be discussing about Terraform plugin based architecture, communication flow and plugins. So let's get into the video. Terraform plugin based architecture. So what happens in Terraform basically is, so when we talk about the plugin based architecture of Terraform, first thing is uh, we have Terraform, let's say we have installed in our system, that's fine. We installed Terraform and uh, we have a application of Terraform. Now what we need to do is we need to connect to our resource provider, correct? So that we provision our infrastructure. So we need to connect to Azure for that. So for that purpose, we need, uh, first of all, we have taken the binaries from HashiCorp. Second thing is using your plugins, we connect to your providers. Okay. So we have different, different plugins available which we use and uh, those plugins are depending upon uh, your resource provider. So if you are using it, uh, for example, for Azure, you have a uh, remote procedure call RPC uh, program to connect to your Azure. If you are using it for AWS, you use your RPC protocol to connect through that. Okay. So this remote procedure call basically is where you connect from your machine to the server means the one which is running on your provider in Azure in our call. Okay. So those plugins will basically help you to connect to your provider. Okay. Once you are connected to your provider, you will be having your codes that will interact with the provider and execute your, you know, provisioning of the infrastructure. And these plugins that you have, these all are written in Go language. All your libraries and everything, everything is in Go language. Okay. So on this uh, provider versioners, uh, you wherever you are using, we have different uh, cloud vendor API. I told you we have it for Amazon, we have it for AWS. All these libraries are available for different different vendors, which we use to connect from our host machine where we are running Terraform to our remote provider that we are going to provision our infrastructure on be it AWS or Azure. Okay. And these APIs that we are using, they are using RPC protocol and they are securely connected using HTTPS. So uh, the security is also taken care. You have an encrypted connection. So uh, the connection between your host client from where you're running Terraform to the server, your provider is completely secure. Now, next thing is how, you know, this, uh, entire communication flows okay so first thing is you have a terraform okay you use uh, rpc to connect to terraform provider just to again uh, tell rpc stands for remote procedure calls that is one of the software communication protocol that we use uh, to connect it based upon the client server based uh, you know architecture so from terraform you connect to the provider okay you download the plugins that are written in go language or your SDKs and everything is downloaded, which is connected using HTTPS to your remote APIs. So your connection is established well with your provider. Okay. So all your plugins that you have, they all are written exclusively in Go language. So if you want to, you know, understand them, you have to be having a good understanding of uh, Go language also. And uh, as I told you that all the plugins are in Go languages and your binaries are, in, you know, invoked by your RPCs, your protocol communications. And that is taken care, you know, you don't have any specific commands that you run. Whenever you run Terraform, any of the commands like plan to run a plan or any other Terraform execution commands, Terraform takes care of that connection. Okay, you don't have to take an extra labor to do anything. Terraform will take care of that. So these plugins that we have, you know, so whenever you use a provider, the first thing, whenever you start provisioning your infrastructure, the first thing you define is your provider information. Okay. Basically you are downloading the plugin information. Okay. So those plugins are available and distributed by HashiCorp. Whenever you run the command called Terraform init. So this is the first command that we run Terraform init based upon your Terraform configuration file your specified provider that particular provider will be downloaded the plugin will be downloaded in your system locally okay and uh, you execute this 
then these plugins will help you to communicate with your terraform over an rpc interface and these plugins are built using your libraries which are written in go okay and they communicate over the uh http https connections so guys i hope you really liked our session and if you have any kinds of doubts you can please comment down below and our team will reach out to you and if you're somebody completely new then you don't have to worry because we have got your back we have properly planned our seven week roadmap so that you can excel in your examination week one would be about what and why about terraform we'll be discussing about terraform installation and basics in week one as well week two would be read generate and modify the configuration week three would consist of provisioners loops data source and built-in functions along with workflow and state management under week fourth we'll be discussing about modules and workspaces along with terraform cli and security in terraform week fifth will be more about terraform cloud and enterprise capabilities week six would be exam registration and some amazing amazing practice questions you'll be having five practice tests that will let you check your knowledge and week seventh would be tips and resources for clearing the exam certification cv preparation and the most important part is our own job support and if you are somebody who is completely new and you want to study the exam content from start to finish then please check out our free class at k21academy.com forward slash terraform02 under this free class we'll be covering a lot of topics like cloud and devops overview cloud automation tools terraform cloud formation ansible chef puppet infrastructure automation iac terraform for beginners what why and who should be learning Terraform certification, extending Terraform with Ansible, Chef, Puppet, etc. We'll be giving you a demo of VM deployment in AWS Cloud using Terraform. And the best part is we'll be covering a lot of job opportunities and how you can get better pay in your Terraform job. So all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash Terraform02 and click on book your free seat now. Select your event date when you're, av you're available. Moving ahead, add your name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes, proceed ahead. Now you'll be seeing this kind of link at the extreme right. Save this link, add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.